Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to apply a comic book effect to an image using the gimmick 2.9 plugin. Okay so on my desktop I've got this folder and inside this folder I've got this one picture which I downloaded from Unsplash. I'll put a link to that same image in the YouTube description. So let's open up GIMP software and we'll drag and drop this picture into GIMP. So I've installed the latest version of GIMP which is 2.10.18. I'll advise you to do that first and then I'll put a link in the YouTube description showing you how to install the gimmick plugin as well on this latest version of GIMP. Let's go to the filter, let's go to the gimmick plugin and inside the gimmick plugin we'll go to these options here underneath artistic. So underneath artistic you've got all these different versions and I'll just tell you to go and experiment with them right that's what I'm doing. So I'm going to click on graphic novel and I want to try and create a comic book sort of style right so you can see the image zooms in so you can see what's going on on this picture because it's quite a high res so we want to try and get some sort of like comic book style uh, picture so I want to try and have some text up here and see the people here and you've got all these different options in here so let's start to uh, increase these options here and let's see what effect we can generate uh, by increasing these options so if we wait a few seconds uh, everything should refresh and we should see the, the effects starting to be applied right you can start, start to see the coloration so we want to increase really the pencil size we want to make the pencil size much bigger and its amplitude as well let's increase that you can start to see things getting a little bit more blurry but it's kind of that style like the painting comic book style that's what I'm trying to achieve using this plugin let's um, increase the sharpness here so now we can start to see like the, the dabs of paint almost like right and let's increase the edge here and also increase the smoothness so I want to try and get it to something like this and let's move across to like this sort of scene here so as we move across it will refresh you kind of get an idea of what it looks like right get an idea of it now looks more like a painting or something you might see in a sort of comic book that sort of effect especially like the sign up here when it refreshes so I'm going to apply it like this but you can go and experiment you just got to tweak these settings and try and get it to what you think looks good and there's so many different options in here right uh, in the mix uh, it's set to vivid edge uh, you can do like graphic color there's loads of different options in here that you can experiment with like with the overlays so we'll leave it on um, let's have a look at dark edge actually so I think we'll leave it on vivid edge I think that looks better and we'll go ahead and click the apply button here you have to be a little bit patient it's going to go through and run loads of steps on this image so it's applying all of these different um, filters that you it's you know, taking loads of different filters and applying them one after the other so it's doing a lot of the work for you basically yeah that's what it's doing it's doing a lot of the, the data crunching and the time crunching for you so we can try and get some sort of comic book style effect um, out of this picture which I think will look really good it's a Tokyo scene right so I think it will look pretty cool once it's done. So it takes about 30 seconds, maybe a little bit longer to um, process the image. Depending on the file size, it can take a little bit longer or be a little bit quicker. So you just got to be a bit patient. So it should be done. It's around 40 seconds now, right? So it should be done fairly soon. And the faster your machine, the faster it will process. Uh, hopefully it won't be too much longer now. So let's see what happens here. And... Um, yeah, go and download this plugin, experiment with it. There's so many different options in here. It's almost overwhelming, to be honest. Uh, the amount of options that you get in here to, to experiment with. So you need to go and experiment with them. It's just like almost endless amount of plugins and options. And that's just one section, right? Artistic, that's just artistic. Then you've got arrays, you've got all of these different options in here. I've barely scratched the surface. Let's go ahead and click OK. Now, from this sort of scene, it doesn't look quite right. I mean, it looks okay, but as we start to zoom in, so if you hold the control key and we start to zoom in, you kind of get that sort of comic book style now, right? If I were to put it here, that could easily be like a front cover of a comic book um, sort of scene, right? It looks like that sort of style. That's what I see it like. So let's go ahead and go to File, Export As, and we'll go to, we're in the right directory, it's a JPEG file. Let's just rename it dash zero one at the end so we don't overwrite our original file. Let's export this and we'll leave it at 90% compression. And let's just minimize this. So in the inside the folder, we have our original image on this side, and now we have our sort of comic book style 
So if we were to zoom in on this, we can kind of see the effect that's been applied. And then we can see on this side, we've got the original photograph. Uh, it should be somewhere like around here, right? Similar sort of layout here between them. You can see the difference and what the gimmick plugin is applied. And it's really down for you to go and tweak and experiment to see what sort of style and designs you can come up with uh, using that plugin. But I think it's, you know, pretty awesome, right? It's a free plugin. You're not paying for it. So go and use it. Use it to your best ability and go and experiment and play with it and see what sort of style and design and artwork that you can come up with. But if you had to do that by hand, right, go and edit all of this stuff out bit by bit, it will take you months. With this plugin, it will take you less than a minute. Okay, let's close this window. Let's close this one. We'll close down this folder. I'm going to be experimenting more with this gimmick plugin. I'll make some more basic tutorials showing you how to do stuff. I thought that looked like a comic book sort of effect. So that's what I call this tutorial. I hope you find it useful and I look forward to seeing you in the next DCP web tutorial.